Shalom, brothers and sisters. Shalom. Hey, first and foremost, I want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, and Kakadash. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for bringing out the 100% truth and keeping it real. Salutation to the 144 hopeful elect of Israel who's pushing his word in all truth and sincerity, and the one-third of Israel who believe in the word and follow the land wherever he goes. Shalom. Brothers and sisters, this is a, um, you know, I thought about the title, and I'm just going to call it what it is. Uh, John MacArthur rebuke on his church or something like that because uh, you know we can't cut the corners we have to defend the gospel now most of the time when I watch a brother's uh, epistle for some reason the YouTube throws one of these uh, false religions uh, false church doctrines up right behind one of a one of a brother's beautiful epistle and I wonder, does that same thing happen to anybody else out there in the world watching? Like, say, for instance, if somebody was watching this man here, you know, and they follow, they follow his church. Would one of the elders and apostles video pop up after they watched this video? That's what I want to know. Because, you know, and um, so I was watching the epistle the other day. And, this, you know, when, I, when this came up, uh, I was about to immediately turn it off. But then uh, the spirit, you know, like, hey, just check it out for a second. So I did. And listen, brothers, so, so we're going to use a portion of this video. It goes on for like a whole hour and four minutes. And it's called um, something like, why does God allow the sorrows and, the, and, the, and the, uh, you know, the evil things that happen on the earth? Right. So uh, the guy goes into it. And he just continues to talk and talk and talk and talk. Where, you know, he, he make reference to the scriptures, but never bring, reads the scriptures or, or, you know, speaks about the scriptures. He never brings the answer. I just could, I couldn't watch anymore. I think I watched up until maybe I tried it 30 minutes or so. Tried to get it, you know, you know, see what where he was going. And dude, he just kept babbling on. All right. So look, first and, first and foremost, I want to um, say, hey. We understand we've come to the 100% truth now of the scriptures. And we this this word is actually going out for the so-called Negro, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, okay? The lost 12 tribes of Israel at this particular time. You know, we're at the end of Esau's kingdom. And this man here is an Edomite, okay? The Caucasian race are the Edomites written of in the Bible, all right? The Bible says, claims that they are Idumia, they are the devil. They, they are the deceivers and that's why they got all these false doctrines and religions now you know um saying that there's other countries out there with their own religion and everything that's fine but these edomites have taken our scriptures because the lord said this this word is for you children of israel and us only okay it's not for all these other nations, but they've taken our, our Bible. They blaspheme the name of the Lord. They twisted the scriptures around. They try to include everybody into salvation. They're not coming out with 100% truth of the scriptures. They're lying about the about the doctrine, man. So, and that's where you made a mistake. Okay, that's why you're gonna get rebuked right here, man. We're not over here rebuking the uh, the, the, the Arabs because they have the Quran. You're not. You know, we're not over here rebuking the Chinese people because they worship Buddha. But you have come over here blaspheming the name of the Lord, our Lord, the Lord God of Israel. Okay? And that's where that's where you done got in trouble at, man. First of all, we gotta go to the book of uh, Psalms. Okay. Chapter 50, verse 15. And look, 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 look at that. The spirit look, the, the page turned right to the page, man. <laughs> I'll praise it to you how about Shema Sha. So this is the book of Psalms chapter 50 verse 15. Okay? Let's go to let's go okay, let's stay at 15. And call upon me in the day of trouble, I will deliver thee, and thou shalt glorify me. Now the Lord, that, that scripture right there is speaking about the children of Israel, the so-called Negro, Hispanics, and Native American Indians first. So you gotta, you know, but these false religions won't tell you that. These false churches, these these uh, wayward doctrines, they will not tell you that. They're here to hinder the children of Israel from returning to their one true living power. Okay? The Lord said, hey, get ready. Get yourselves together for this day of Jacob's trouble is coming upon you. You know? And he said, and call upon me. That's right. Call upon the name. And the Lord's name is Yahweh. His son's name is Yahweh Shai. So we need to learn these names. Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai. 
and call upon me in the day of trouble, I will deliver thee, and thou shalt glorify me. The Lord's gonna deliver his chosen, the 144 hopeful elect and the one third of Israel from all these sad perils that's about to happen upon the earth right soon, very soon, brothers. We're talking about the famine, the sword, you know what I'm saying? The the pestilence, you know, the earthquakes, the, the tornadoes, you know what I'm saying, the wild beast, the martial law. The famine of food, the famine of the word. The Lord's going to deliver us from all these things. All right? And this is verse 16. But unto the wicked, Yehovah Hashem Yahashah said, And this man is the wicked. Esau, Edom, the Caucasian race, are the wicked of this of the earth right now. But unto the wicked, Yehovah Hashem Yahashah said, What hast thou to do to declare my statutes, or that thou should have taken my covenant in thy mouth? And that's what they're doing right now. You see, he's standing up there talking about he's preaching the word, but he's just rambling on. We're gonna we're gonna play it, we're gonna play it. Of course, we're gonna play some of the video. I'm only, I'm only gonna play like seven minutes and forty one seconds of his video, man, because that is about as much as we can take. You know, we're gonna stop it here and there and and, and you know uh rebuke him. But the Lord say, and you know, why is why is the Lord saying this? But into the wicked, yeah, how about Shema Shah say? What hast thou to do to declare my statutes? Why are you reading a book? What are you what are you doing? This is not for you. Or that thou should have taken my covenant in thy mouth. Why are you saying, you know, that hey, this salvation is for everybody? Uh, and blah blah blah. And it goes on to say in verse 17, Sin thou hatest instruction and castest my words behind thee. Okay? Lord say, look, seeing that you hated instruction, you don't even care about what the words say. You're up there trying to make some money, up there uh, uh, misleading the people, giving them false hope. That's why the scriptures say our, our, for, our fathers have inherited lies, man, because you're making them think that they have a, 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 a place in, for salvation in the kingdom of heaven. Yeah, they do. They're going to be slaves in the kingdom of heaven. That's what's going to happen to them. Okay? Or that thou should have taken my covenant in the mouth, seeing that thou hated the instruction, and cast my words behind thee. Okay? And that's all we're going to get from that right there. Because he cast the words behind him. Point, point, point being, look at the man. Look at it. Look at him. Take a good look at that man. I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to read the scripture. This is the Leviticus chapter 19, verse 27. Ye shall not round the corners of your heads, neither shall thou... Mare the corners of thy beard. Okay? This is a this this is a uh, commandment right here. The Lord is saying, Don't cut your beard off. Where's this man's beard? Period point blank. Okay, so they hated the instruction and cast the words behind them. They don't do what the Lord say, they're contrary to what the what the what the scriptures are actually telling them to do. Okay? And because this is not for them. The children of Israel, the so-called Negro, Hispanics, and Native American Indians are the ones that stood in front of Moses and got those commandments in the first place. Not them. That's why they don't do them. And that's, they don't believe in Yahweh Hashem HaShah. That's why they created a whole false uh, doctrine and put up a false idol to worship and not the God of the Bible. You know what I'm saying? They put up a Caucasian man instead of the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the Messiah with skin of bronze, you know, that looked like a so-called black man. Okay, because he's from the tribe of Judah, the so-called Negro, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, man. Okay, let's continue our reading. This is verse 28. You shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, nor print any marks upon you. I am Yahweh Shema Shai. Now, this goes to the lost 12 tribes of Israel right here, okay? This is just a, a, a side note that, hey, the Lord say, you shall not make any cuttings in your flesh. Okay, so don't put any cuttings in your flesh. So therefore, when this vaccine comes out or the RFID chip, you can't get it because you can't make a cutting in your flesh. Okay, don't go against what the Lord has told you to do. It's time to repent and come back to the most high. Okay. All right. Now let's play some of this man's video. Okay. I have been assigned a easy question to answer. I don't know how I'm going to fill the time. I'm just going to give you the answer. <laughs> hey, we had to stop him already. He said, uh, 
how's he gonna feel the time you know what I'm saying and he didn't say he's just gonna give the answer you know what I'm saying number one if you was a man of God you would feel the time by speaking the words of Yahweh about Shema Shai. This is the book of 1 Peter, chapter 4, 11. If any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of Yahweh about Shema Shai. If any man minister, let him do it as the ability which Yahweh about Shema Shai giveth. Okay? And you don't speak your own words, you speak the words of the Lord, man. Okay? Not your own vain words that he's going to stand up here and do. Uh, that's why we have to turn it off. Then also, he's a liar. Because he said, I'm just going to give you the answer. Because if he's if he's gonna give us if he's gonna give us the answer, he would just give us the answer. He would look into the scriptures, find the scriptures that you know makes it understood who the Lord is and what the Lord is all about to uh, declare His words and His works. You know what I'm saying? That's how you would deliver the answer with the scripture. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 58, verse three. The wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies. The man can't help but to lie. He can't help but to lie and tell you that he's going to give you the answer, even though he's not going to give you the answer, because he does not have the answer, because he's not a man of Yahweh Shema Shai. He's not a man of the Lord, okay? He shouldn't be even reading the Bible. If they wanted to come out with a false god and false idol, so-called name Jesus Christ, they should have made up their own doctrine, their own book, like the Book of Mormons or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Don't use Yahweh Bashim al Shai as a crutch or to deceive the world. But hey, don't forget, that's your lot, isn't it? That's your lot. Let's continue with the video. Why does God allow evil and suffering in the world? This is a very, very important question. This is a question that I will tell you on a personal level is the single question that my friend Larry King always goes back to as... <laughs> well, you didn't know about that? Friendship? <laughs> that he always goes back to to demonstrate why he cannot believe. He, th there are some agnostics, um, and that's usually a word thrown around as if it were noble, but the Latin... Well, see, this uh, shows you right there that uh, more evidence that this man is not a man of the Lord because what Romans 3 and 3 for what if some did not believe shall their unbelief make the faith of Yahweh Shimei Asha without effect God forbid yea let God be true but every man a liar okay because we don't care if you don't believe we got to bring out this 100% truth of the scriptures man because we're looking for salvation in these days of upcoming trouble man you know what I'm saying we're bringing out the 100% truth of, of, of the Bible, man. These, these cats over here, they're just messing around. They're lying. They're deceiving. That's what they're supposed to do, okay? To deceive the masses. To keep you in this uh, state of, of um, being bound. That's what religion's for. But the Lord said, you shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. And that's where we are right now. And we're coming out. Uh, with this word to the 144 hopeful elect and the one third of Israel who will believe this word and repent and be healed. That's so called Negro, Hispanics, and Native American Indians. Let y'all know that we are the chosen people of the Lord. Okay? We are the lost 12 tribes of Israel, man. These people right here you see on the screen, they are the Edomites. They are the devil. And they are lying to you. Okay? So if anybody's in this church, if you use the so called Negro, Hispanics, or Native American Indians, that you're sitting there worshiping your, uh, this false god and false idol, you might want to get the hell out of there and repent to the one true living God, the God of Israel. Let's continue the video. Equivalent is ignoramus, just to put it in perspective. <clears throat> but there are some people who are agnostics simply because they don't care to know. There are some people who are agnostics and they can give you an apologetic defense of their agnosticism no matter what you say they'll take you through a rational series of arguments as to why they cannot believe and with him it is always the fact that there's so much evil in the world how can God be good? We, we never get past that dilemma for him try as we may one of the, I think, favorite justifications for biblical skeptics and theological liberals' inability to accept the Scripture 
is they cannot resolve the issue of God being good, loving, wise, kind, powerful, and the world being dominated by evil in all kinds of forms. And here lies the problem, brothers and sisters. Well, no, I mean, no, it's not, no, it's not a problem. Because Yahweh Shema Shah say, you're either with me or against me. And clearly these people are against the Lord because the Lord, Yahweh Shai, is the word. You know what I'm saying? And you either believe in the word or you don't. Because right here, uh, they're talking about all of this. Now, this is supposed to be a man of the scripture, but, you know, as, as we were talking about before, they're, they're not. They're, they're, they got a false doctrine and false religion over here, and they have nothing to do with the actual words and the and the belief of Yahweh Shema Shai, okay? Because they don't worship the one true living God. They worship a false God and a false idol that they say is all about love, and he would never do that. And this is just, you'll see that it's... it's it's all lies that they're promoting here. Let's go to the book of Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 39. The Lord says, See now that I, even I, am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. Okay? So the Lord is the one that has all power. He's Almighty. He's the one that that has a that that uh, is the the killer. He's the one that makes alive. He's the one that wounds. He's the one that heals, man. Okay. Let's go to the book of Proverbs. See, first you got to understand who the Lord is. Who are you even talking about? You can't put the Lord in a box. You know what I'm saying? This is the Lord that we serve. The one true living God, the God of Israel. Okay. This is the book of Proverbs chapter 16, verse 4. The Lord had made all things for himself, yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. So the Lord created everything, man. Even this man standing up here with his false doctrine. And the Lord said he created them for the day of evil. Okay? He's going to raise them up so they can do their job by punishing the two-thirds of Israel and deceiving the whole world. So the Lord can make a grand entrance and say, hey, this is me. I'm the one, you know, I'm the one behind all this, you know. He created all things for himself. Yeah, even the wicked for the day of evil. You got to understand that the Lord is all powerful. This is his show. Okay. This is his show. One more. Let's get one more before we start the video back up. Uh, and this right here should clear everything up. But no, these people don't believe in the one true living God. They believe in some fairy tale that they're made up with this false doctrine here. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 46 verse 10. It says, declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times the things that are not yet done, saying, my counsel shall stand and I will do all my pleasure. So everything is in the Lord's hands. That's right. He is God Almighty. He said, declaring the end from the beginning. So it's all already written out. Who dies, who lives, how do they die? You know what I'm saying? And from ancient times, the things that are not yet done, you know, all the prophecies say, my counsel shall stand and I will do all my pleasure. He's going to do exactly what he wants. His will be done on heaven, in, in, in earth as it is in heaven, man. Let's continue with the video. A syllogism might go a little bit like this. The biblical God is loving. The biblical God is good, the biblical God is holy, the biblical God is wise, the biblical God is all-powerful. Massive evil exists in the world, therefore the biblical God does not exist. How can you tell me that God is all-loving, all-good, all-holy, all-knowing, all-powerful, and then explain to me evil? Therefore. In the minds of some, the biblical God cannot exist. Therefore, the Bible that presents such a God is not to be believed. Once again, Romans chapter 3, verse 3. What if some did not believe? You know what I'm saying? It doesn't, that right there, um, because this word is not for everyone. This word 
it's only for the 144 hopeful elect of Israel, God's chosen people, the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native American Indians. That's why he said, my sheep hear my voice and they follow me. You know what I'm saying? Because a real child of Yahweh Hashim Shah would not be listening to this man here. He would not be following this man. Okay? One of the 144 hopeful elect and the one-third of Israel? No. They'd be following the words of the scripture, which are contrary to what this man is saying because this man is adverse to the scripture because this man is the devil, the deceiver. Okay? He's promoting all this wickedness. Let's, let's, let's get that real quick. Let's go to Matthew chapter 12. Uh, uh, verse 26 because he's up here talking about uh, the world is so evil blah 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 and all this stuff but then where's all this coming from where's all this evil well, who, who's putting all this, this evil uh, and going against what the scripture actually say who's doing this the wicked and we all know uh, Job chapter 9 verse 24 the earth is given into the hand of the wicked which is controlled by who Esau Edom the Caucasian race him and his people his nation of people Okay, this is the book of uh, Matthew chapter 12, verse 26. And if Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself. How shall then his kingdom stand? Because he, he's not going to stand up there and, and uh, talk about, you know, his fellow man being the devil. The deceiver that's why it's a, so much confusion with all of these different religions he just brought out brought out these agnostics uh this this religion that religion you know hey oh, that's why they can't believe that's why you're the you're up there in denial as well man because you're not that you're not uh coming with the 100 percent truth of the scriptures you're not talking about that that these these words are only for the children of israel oh Oh man, hey brothers, I, I got a, I got a man, I got this beautiful clip. I'm gonna, I'm gonna add in here right now. This is the clip that I stumbled upon last night through the spirit, and it must, it, it needs to be added into this, in, into this right here, okay? Because this, these are some other Edomites, um, that are actually uh, coming, coming clean, you know, saying, hey, and and. Uh, they seem like they understand and they see that the scripture are only for the children of Israel. They're only these this book is only for us. You know what I'm saying? And they make a great point that I'm gonna I'm just gonna add it right here in, the, in this scripture, man. And that's why these do that's why these devils uh don't understand the scriptures. Because it's not for them to get it. Okay. So I'm gonna just gonna add that clip in here real quick because this is not this epistle's you know we're almost finished with it man it's, we're just bringing out a few scriptures um declaring you know that hey these edomites are lying these all these religions are are, are you know they're false they're not true to the doctrine uh this word is only for the chosen people the lord's chosen people the 144 hopeful elect of israel because the rest the two-thirds are blinded anyway and that's the so-called negro hispanics and native american indians and this is the time for grace and mercy the time for repentance for us to come back to the one true living god seek his face get to know him because this is the end of the world this is the end of this age this is the end of this era this is the end of esau edom's wicked kingdom these elites here uh, they stand up here and promote these lies, okay? That go against scripture. We're looking for new heavens and new earth where dwelleth righteousness, man. But the earth right now is given to the hand of the wicked. That's real. That's the reason why, you know, you see all this wickedness around. Because the Lord gave it up to the wicked so that they can promote this. So when he comes back and establish righteousness, we would have learned to hate evil you know what i'm saying to know what's the difference between good and evil and righteousness you know so we can make righteous judgments let's watch this video of these uh other edomites bringing out the you know that the scriptures are actually for the children of israel to the ethiopians <laughs> an epistle of paul to the egyptians the black an people. epistle of paul to the to the hutus and the tutsis right. we don't have that there's no epistle the of paul right. to the arabs there's right. no epistle of Paul to the Babylonians. Exactly. There's no epistle of Paul to the Edomites. Yeah, right. Paul right. could have very easily perverted Christianity. Right. And it, the and Paul bashers are just idiots for not seeing that. And, of course, in other books, uh, Paul definitely says that the Edomites are vessels 
fit for destruction. Of destruction, yes. right. He does not include them among the Israelites. And, and he doesn't include any nation that's non-Israelite. Right. And Every one of those people Paul wrote an epistle to were dispersed Israelites. Right, right. And he excludes the uh, descendants of Ishmael, which is your today's Arabs, right? Absolutely. He, he excludes, he excludes them, explicitly yes. excludes them. Right. So, uh... Now, that was, um... That was just a little side clip that, uh, you know, the Lord let me stumble upon last night. It was uh, it's actually from, I some kind of way found it, uh, I think through Gadal, Gabar, Yahawada, okay? And I believe the person that actually posted it was Yasha Hopeful 144. I'm, you know, just to um, put their names out there. Uh, tell him, you know, the water for that. So let's get back to this man's video and we're gonna uh, just, you know, bring out a few more scriptures and then wrap it up. Okay, brothers and sisters? Now, there are some who see this as such a serious dilemma that it sort of um, puts the uh, Christian at maybe fourth and 40 on his own 10 yard line. And the only option is to punt, change the subject. Or snap back with Deuteronomy 29, 29, the secret things belong to the Lord, and kick that as far as you can <clears throat> into enemy territory. Is that the best that we can do when pressed against our theological end zone? Absolutely not. If you know the divine playbook, then you know there's a perfect play designed not just to get us temporary escape or get us a first down, or get us in field goal range, but there is an answer in the Bible with which we will score a touchdown. It'll take us all the way to triumph and victory. Scripture gives us an answer, not only an answer that you can understand, but an answer that you can joyfully accept, an answer in which you can rejoice. And it's not one of the inadequate short answers like, well, God's not responsible, Adam and Eve are. Which only poses the question as to why God allowed Adam and Eve the option of making sinful choices. He created them. If God knew they were going to make those kinds of choices, then why did He make them capable of making those kinds of choices? That doesn't help. Well, you say, well, God's not responsible, the devil is. Which only then poses the question, why did God create angels knowing that they would fall, one of them would become the devil and lead the whole human race into sin? And that's when you know that it's a false doctrine because they're coming up with this, uh, the devil is a fallen angel, the devil uh, is fighting against Yahweh Shema Shai. So that it actually saying now that the Yahweh Shema Shai is not all powerful. You know what I'm saying? Like we just read in Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 39, the Lord said, He kills and He makes alive. He said, There's no God beside Him. You know what I'm saying? So the devil is a creation of Yahweh Shema Shai. And He created him to actually be the devil, just like He created this man. And all the Caucasian race, the Edomites, to be the wicked of this earth, you know, to actually be the devil themselves and deceive the nations, come up with this false doctrine and these false idols. You know what I'm saying? Because the Lord already declared the end from the beginning. So there's no way around it, my man. And we can read in the book of Job where uh, Satan came, you know, to talk to the Lord because he actually works for the Lord. We're not we're not going to get it now. Because, you know, we just want to make sure that, I don't know, what, what? We already actually explained it right here. That the Lord killed and he make it alive. He's in control of all things. Basically, we can just end it off right there. But this man's continuing on to go on and on with these fantasies, with these damn lies, with this false doctrine, man, and this false religion. That's why he still ain't come up with, the, with, the, with, the, with not one scripture, you know, that explains... Why is there evil on earth if the Lord's supposed to be all good? That's what he's trying to say. If the Lord is all good and loving, why is there so much evil on the earth? Then he's going to sprue out of his mouth, Jeff, now. 
that the devil with along with his fallen angels and he's gonna later on in the video he's gonna bring up um, Revelation chapter 12 he didn't even tell you the verse but it just said Revelation chapter 12 and I read it and Revelation chapter 12 is speaking about um, uh, 9 uh, wait no he's talking about Revelation chapter 12 verse 7 and there was a war in heaven Michael and his angels fought against the dragon and the dragon fought and his angels and prevailed not neither was their place found in heaven anymore and the great dragon was cast out that old serpent called the devil and Satan which deceived the whole world he was cast out into the earth and his angels were cast out with him now you know just like we just read Satan casting out Satan because he, he can't speak the truth because he is the actual devil that, that he's speaking about right here you know and blessed are your eyes to see brothers and sisters if you can understand and receive this because uh, I just did a video I think it was yesterday man about this it's about the same very thing the dragon that old serpent called the devil and Satan are the Edomites on this earth deceiving the whole world with this false doctrine them put themselves up as God you know what I'm saying uh, so this is beautiful that is this coming right back around and we can see this devil talking about this uh, imaginary uh, being under the ground with the pitchfork that's what he's trying to say this hell doctrine but it's all a lie it's not in the scriptures but anyway, um, let's read. Let's 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 close it up, man. That's enough of that. I just wanted to give a, a quick rebuke on this on this church and all these false doctrines and false religions. And uh, let's see, is there anything else we can? Yeah, let's let. We're gonna shut it down with uh, with one more scripture. Let's shut it down with Matthew chapter ten, verse twenty nine. That's in Matthew chapter 10, verse 29. It says, Are not two sparrows sold for a farthing? And one of them shall not fall on the ground without your father. Okay? Because the Lord is actually in control of everything. He says, But the very hairs of your head are all numbered. He's the Lord is saying he's all powerful. He said there's not a sparrow that falls out of the out of the sky dead without him knowing about it and consenting to it. So there you go. And that goes right back to the scripture in Deuteronomy chapter 32 verse 39. I kill and I make alive. You know what I'm saying? Let's read it one more time just to recap it because that's that's all it is to it, man. But you know, they want to continue to go on and put the Lord in this um little little box you know and say that you know he, he's just all good and all that stuff but the Lord say he kills and he makes alive he said he's the one in control he's the one running this ship and in Exodus chapter 15 verse 3 it says that he's a Lord of war as well okay so this is Deuteronomy chapter 32 verse 39 see now that I even I am he and there is no God with me Okay, so there's no other God running around here having war with you. How about Shema Shai, man? He said, I kill and I make alive. It's the Lord that kills and he makes alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand, man. Okay. See, wait a minute. Hold on now. This is the book of Psalms chapter 7, verse 11. I know I said I was going to finish it off right there, but come on, y'all. Psalms is 7 and 11. It says, God, Yahweh Shema Shai, judges the righteous, and Yahweh Shema Shai is angry with the wicked every day. Okay? So he's angry with the wicked every day. He's angry with these mans here. Because they're, they're reserved for a day of judgment. Okay? 
They are reserved for a day of judgment. But every day he sends out his judgment to the just. To us, the so-called Negro, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, okay? That's why he said, uh, that's why we read earlier, uh, the Lord created all things for himself, yea, even the wicked for the day of evil, okay? So, I hope this lesson was edifying. I'm going to just close it out right there, brothers and sisters. hope it was edifying. Um, and that's about, yeah, that's about I want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rekakadash. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for bringing out the 100% truth and keeping it real. Salutations to the 144 hopeful elect of Israel who's pushing his word in all truth and sincerity. And the one third of Israel who believe in the word, follow the land wherever it goes. Shalom, Israel.